Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuber, and in this video I'm going to have a look at this exciting puzzle that's in this box. I got it from this uh, UK-based company called JP Games that has a really wide range of uh, cool stuff. Um, I actually don't know anything about this puzzle other than what it said on the website, uh, and that it's called the Steuerrad, which I think means steering wheel. It didn't look like a steering wheel in the picture on the website, but... That's not a particularly surprising thing. So let's see what this is like. Okay, now I'm recording this audio afterwards because I had a bike frame problem. But anyway, look at how beautiful this puzzle is. Um, at this point, I think I was commenting on the fact that it didn't really look like a steering wheel. <laughs> um, I later figured out why it was called the steering wheel. I think there is some logic to that. Uh, anyway, as usual, I used a, a lockpick to get into the... Uh, into the puzzle. And um, I started by having a look. I noticed that there were these um, brown levers which had three positions, so they looked like they wanted to move in and out. And then there were these um, dials which seemed like they could turn clockwise or anti clockwise. I, call, I started calling those metronomes because they kind of looked like metronomes. And then there's this sort of face in the middle which turns. I sort of thought like it looked like a face because it has a nose and a mouth. And according to the position of that dial, that seems to affect whether the levers can move in and out or not. At this point, I didn't really know what the objective was. So I counted up, there are eight of these brown dial uh, levers. There's eight of the cream coloured dials. Um, the cream coloured dials each have two positions, the levers have three positions, um, and then the face in the middle has eight positions that mean something. And what I was trying to do at this point was figure out what is the goal? Um, and reasonably quickly after this point I decided that the goal was to get all of the levers into the outward position as far away from the center as possible, all of the brown bars, um, and then that would let the, uh, the face in the middle turn around and unscrew and open up the, uh, the puzzle. That was, my, that was my guess. It took me a few minutes to get there, but um, that was my guess. And so I started operating on that principle, trying to see if I could get all of the brown um, levers into their outermost positions. But what I started to quickly realize is that each lever has two of these metronome dials on the left and the right. Um, and if both of them are pushed away from the lever, then the lever can move freely up and down. But if either of them is um, pressed up against the lever, then it can't move. And obviously that means um, that in order to move a particular lever, you've got to get those the two dials on the other, either side pushed away from it. Um, but that means you have to have, in order to push the levers away, you have to have got the, sorry, in order to push the dials away, you have to have the levers in the right positions as well. So on either side. So there's a sort of um, knock on effect where in order to move one lever, the lever next to it has to be in a certain position and so on and so on and so on. Okay. Um, think of it as sort of binary counting, does that work? I mean, if, if they were all starting as zero, like down here, then that would be logical, but they're not, so that doesn't matter. They're all starting in various places. Why is that one free? These happen to both be going the same way, yeah. I mean, away from it.
Right. I've got to be able to figure this out. So the first move that I can make is that one. And that lets me do this. Which lets me do this, which lets me do this. And that lets me do this and this and this. Now the wheel can't go any further at this point. It doesn't matter that that goes down because I'm doing any good. So I've got to go back. And the only thing I can do when I come back is this. Which lets me free this. But this is no good because now this is blocked forever and that means this is blocked and everything else is blocked. I have one quick last try and then I'm going to go and rest and try again in the morning. <laughs> so this is fixed, this doesn't matter. We can ignore that until we get around there clockwise. So this is the important starting point. This guy can be here which lets the wheel go by. But once the wheel has come by, nothing else can move. Nothing at all, right? Is that true? Yeah, that is because these are all blocked in. Okay, so that means that can't be the right thing to do. And the right thing to do has to be pushing that down, that across, which means this can move. But until it's come down, it doesn't let anything else happen. So it's got to be that you let it come down. Uh, and in order to let it come down, you have to do that. Having let it come down, we can do this. We're sort of, we're sort of transmitting this. We're transmitting having the the lever in the second position and the, um, what do I call this? Metronome <laughs> over on the left. We want to work that across, right? These are constantly swinging back and forth. And metronomes is the right name, I think, for them. <laughs> I've just been undoing it, so I've now got four, five, and six all back to where they were before. Somehow I'm doing the inverse of what I need to do. Okay, but still, it's, you know, I'm changing something. Right, I've discovered a sort of a, a sequence. It does something, it does the wrong thing. But at least it's doing something. Oh, I see. Yeah. I 
icing. There we go. Right. Yeah, I'm getting the feel for this now, so I'm passing the middle position backwards now. So that one's in the middle, then this one will be in the middle, and that one will be in the middle, which is super -sea trivial. Oops, no, wrong way. <laughs> uh, there. Um, there. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> now I need to get it to the seventh one, oops, which is this one. And that will, I think, mean I'm done. So I just have to do exactly what I just did, only go one place further around. Whew, okay, I think I know what I'm doing now, maybe. Or at least my fingers seem to know what they're doing. Mostly. Good. This is working, I think. I think. Unless I'm just reversing everything, which is also quite possible. And let me say, very irritating, if true. going so far around the circle on this thing. I, I see why it's called a steering wheel now, right? <laughs> That's what you're doing. Constantly turning it this way and that. hasty here. I feel like I'm, you know, inching towards the solution and it's making me rush to get there, which is dangerous. I will make mistakes if I have not already. I may well already have made a mistake, actually, but anyway. Uh, no, that one, sorry. So I've now got the last one. No, no, wait. This is the last one. Idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm confusing myself. 
myself so badly here. Okay, the point is I need to move this. I need to move it so that this one is down and this one is up. That's what I need. Ah, <gasps> that's it. Now I've done it. Ah, phew. Okay, so this is now out. And now I have to get the rest of them out. Um, so these two are out. All these are out. Right, this, this is where I now have to move that way. Uh, yeah, because otherwise I can't get past there. But look, look, look. <gasps> That's all new. This is all new territory. <laughs> I've never got past here before. Oh, this feels so good. I love this puzzle. Okay. Right. Um, so moving that around this way, I think I do this sequence, right? Ah, look at this, look at this. Right, we're getting closer now. These three are all out, now it's here. I need to move it back around a few more again. So we repeat. Okay, I'm definitely getting the hang of this now. That locks that in place now, and that comes out. Yes, 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 this is good, I think. Ah, here we go. What is it I'm doing? Oh, I'm done. I assume this is what I meant to do. Oh yes, oh yes. Ah, look at that. It's open. I'm so happy. Oh. <laughs> that is such an awesomely cool puzzle. I love it. This is officially my favorite wooden puzzle. Um, I mean, it's really stunningly made. All these wooden puzzles are really beautiful. They put so much craftsmanship into it. And this one, I think, just particularly, I love this detail on the side here, this sort of uh, concertina thing. Um, the really nice way all the wood fits together. Even just this big metal screw down the middle is kind of somehow beautiful. Or maybe I'm just looking at this through rose colored glasses because I've solved it. Now, I don't know. What will it mean to get it back to its original state? Um, I sort of assume that's what I need to do. But what does that mean? What was its original state? I guess its original state was all of these down in their middle positions, right? All right, that was super fun. I'm not 100% sure that I can completely explain the process, but roughly speaking, it's like one of those binary, well, enary problems, like ternary, right, with three states. And you're constantly just swinging these backwards and forwards. And then you're sort of, the way I was thinking about it is you're kind of transmitting um, the screw in the middle around to a point and then bringing it back. And as you bring it back, you sort of leave the screw on the end. And then you transmit that back, then you come back out the other way to one where the screw's in the middle, move it up to the end, and then move that back. So there's this continual process of sort of going further and further around the dial until <laughs> they're all done. So yeah, I am um, just, I love this puzzle. I really, really love it. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with it and see if I can get it back into its original state, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because I think that might be a little boring for you. So anyway, I really have no idea how long this took me. I would guess probably about four hours in total. Maybe a bit less, but not much less. <laughs> um, I'll make this into a much shorter video, obviously. Hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me struggle through this. 
Um, and uh, if you have, then please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more um, videos on puzzles and locks. Um, and uh, if you have friends who are into that kind of thing, tell them about my channel. Uh, that would be great. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.